Shalom Aleichem. So we were talking about the greatness of the holy sages, knowing that unfortunately many people throughout the generation, generations, um, were talking negative, bashing and fighting against the holy sages and righteous ones. So we want to uplift the truth and to remove this uh, curtain from the head of all those holy righteous ones when we know that we receive so much light and so much greatness is being passed through the generations by them and because of their merit so many great things happen. So I wanted to mention another one of the uh, stories that um, in a general way I already spoke about it. The days that the temple was built were glorified days, days of shine and light and a lot of grace and kindness among people. But there was a group of sages that were learning Kabbalah. They were learning on how to climb and see through visions while being awake and sober the holy chariot of heaven means the sight of our maker sitting on his throne of honor and leading the world when all the angels are standing to its right and left a clear observation on the heavenly system the highest hierarchies heaven's courts and the way of leadership with hundreds on hundreds of thousands endless amounts of numbers of angels that are to the right and to the left of our maker in his mission and for his honor so the main chief rabbi that was teaching and guiding the rest of the sages was Nechunia ben Hakana. It's a known thing that we, for sake of honor, mentioning the name Rabbi or Rav or Rabban before the first name of the Righteous One for his respect. But there are some of the sages that were not called with that title to respect them and the Gemara is explaining that that is a greater honor even than all the titles of praise like Hillel and Shammai. Nechunia ben Hakana was also called that way without Rabbi Nechunia ben Hakana. He was called Nechunia ben Hakana for his greatness as if there is no title that will be great enough for him Rav, Rabban, Rabbi not enough to say he was so great that we can only call him in his name Nechunia ben Hakana Nechunia the son of Hakana so Nechunia ben Hakana was the righteous man that was standing in the Azara in the place, in the central main place of the temple of Hashem. And over there, he was so-called meditating. He was standing with his eyes closed and he was climbing into the seven layers of sky that we know that exist in the creation of Hashem. And in front of every gate that he was standing to enter into that new level, new place in Shamaim in the sky, he would say and pronounce out loud the questions that he was asked by the angels to the right and to the left of our Maker to allow him to access and see that great sight of Hashem sitting on his throne of honor with all the honor that was surrounding him in that sky, in that floor, in that platform. 
seven times this process would happen. In front of every gate, he would ask different questions and he had to answer different answers. And while he was doing that, he was expressing those names, the holy, beautiful names of Hashem that were the right answers to the question. If he was educated actually in the holy knowledge of the names of Hashem, the biggest science in, in Judaism, the biggest wisdom of them all to know the names of Hashem, because Hashem, that His name, we're calling Him the name, has many, many names. And those names are actually ways of leadership, of supervision of our Master on His world. Through those names, He is running the world and, and moving things. The names are powers of Hashem, that He owns all the powers and runs them with greatness. So Nechunia ben Hakana was saying the names of Hashem that are the right names to every gate in every floor. And there was a writer that was standing by his side and writing down all those names and all the explanation for the rest of the sages and for the next generation's righteous people to be able to walk in his footstep, footsteps. He was the main one that opened that path and revealed the wisdom to his generation. Those scripts were written in books that are called Maase Merkava and the book of Matat and Midrashim of Ishmael Kohen Gadol, his main student, and on. And Nechunia ben Hakana was the rabbi of the greatest people of his generation, including Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Ishmael Kohen Gadol that we mentioned, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel that was the prince of Israel, Yonatan ben Uziel, one of the most famous righteous people, greatest righteous people ever. There were many incidents and, and, uh, and interesting situations that were taking place in that time while they were standing in the Azara. One of them is that in one of the days Nechunia ben Hakana was standing and was supposed to enter to the seventh gate but from some reason he was standing quiet and the sages were scared why isn't he talking and it was few hours that he was just watching something and no one knew what like inside his meditation deep meditation and not speaking the sages got into some serious pressure they didn't know what happened Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel was afraid that maybe from heaven they're upset that they let Yonatan ben Uziel sit on the ground as well with all the rest of the sages as if he is one of them and not um, respected well enough. In the end of the day they found a solution um, by bringing a certain piece of fabric that was containing a certain kind of impure touch, impure sense. And by lowering the level of holiness of Nechunia ben Akana, he was sent back to earth, to our world. And then he answered and explained all the great sight that he saw. Our sages were in very high level and still are walking among us and revealing secrets and wisdom to each generation according to his level. May their merit shine upon us and open our eyes to believe in them and to follow their wisdom. Amen.